I'll bring in Dr. Chris Purnell. She's a New Jersey public health physician. Welcome, Dr. Purnell. We've been told that you were inspired to take part in the Moderna vaccine trial, partly because of personal loss, incredible loss. You lost your father to COVID, your cousin, your sister was infected with long-term effects. We're just so sorry for what you've gone through, but you're turning it into something positive as a role model, participating in the Moderna vaccination pro uh, trial program. Yes, Andre, it was very important for me to turn devastation into hope and victory. And I think it's very important for my community to see that my community in New Jersey, my community in North New Jersey, my community throughout Essex County. My father was a research scientist, and unfortunately, this pandemic um, took his life away, but it did not take away his fight, his spirit, or his legacy, because I, I look to live that forward. And as black and brown communities had been decimated in disproportionate fashion, by this pandemic, as they were just describing at University Hospital, I saw a way to be a part of the solution. I sought a way to demonstrate accountability um, and to actually say, how do we help to beat back this pandemic and to create a new narrative, uh, a more powerful narrative informed by public health? Uh, now, the FDA is reviewing the Moderna vaccine. The first shots could happen next week. And as you point out, African-Americans are understandably hesitant about the vaccine, given the history of experimentation by the medical community on people of color, on black Americans. Um, so that was part of your motivation. Definitely. I'm well versed in that history, right? We could talk about enslaved black women who were subjected to um, gynecological procedures without anesthesia and without their consent. We could talk about Tuskegee, black men having treatment for with syphilis with help from them. We could talk about Henrietta Lacks in Baltimore had metastatic cervical cancer and had tissue samples taken from her wounds. There are countless horrible stories of medical experimentation and abuse, and it's fine. It's time for the medical complex and healthcare more broadly to be able to have honest conversations and to demonstrate trustworthiness. And public health is actually positioned to fight for health equity, to fight for racial justice, because we know those issues impact and determine life outcomes and life exposures. So this was my opportunity to live forward uh, a truer legacy around empowerment, about a sense of agency. And, and I really jumped at that opportunity. And I want to be able to have a conversation, a conversation nationally and a conversation with my community about, I hear your fears and concerns, knowing your fears and concerns. This is the truth of the science. This is the truth of the data. And to walk hand in hand, science and empathy, and to walk people along this decision.